I watched Barbie and Oppenheimer the first day that it came out, which is like today. It's like technically yesterday because it's like 1.40 a.m. today right now. I just came back from theater watching Oppenheimer and I feel like I want to share my feelings and thoughts as like a normal movie watcher and just like a very random person. So I say the target audience of Barbie is like American young adult who has a certain history, a certain level of history with Barbie. So I am partially that target audience. I am no American. I'm obviously I'm Chinese and but I am studying in the US. Um, this is my fourth year here so I do have a certain understanding of their culture and like political background and such and I do have a certain level of passion for Barbie because when I was a kid I did have a few Barbie dolls and I love their movies but this has nothing to do with the actual their like story and so this is just like a separate one um, the political and social topic that are related to this movie is like feminism and just like patriarchy in general and they have a lot of lines that a stereotypical feminist would just know by heart or s or have seen a lot at least for me i have seen those on social medias and like just people just ramble about those so and they present those lines in a very rapid fashion i think on purpose because like those are just standard saying that a young adult in america just know i guess the topic that this movie discussed the most is um, like personal growth, a person that is trying to find themselves and I don't know, like going through expectations, which I would say resembles a lot of, um, what is it called? What is it called? The studio, wait, what? It discussed topic that's on a lighter level but those topics are definitely not like very childish it's definitely like a lot of adults have as well but it presented in a lighter way one thing that i feel like the barbie could have done better because i just saw the potential there and they just kind of swipe it off in the barbie world it's a very matriarchal society um all all the important jobs, like all sort of jobs, all the jobs besides beach job is run by um, like women. So like men in Barbie world is very much oppressed. So I feel like there is a huge miss of opportunity there to actually present that they're oppressed other than just kind of making fun of them. In my opinion, that's a great opportunity to actually relate to the male viewers to like you see, in a society like this, those these people are oppressed. So in an actual world, which is run mostly by patriarchy, women are oppressed in this way. Like women are not respected in a lot of ways. Because there is that moment where Ken took over Barbie world and said to Barbie that now you know what it feels. Like at that moment, I was like, is there something more? Are you gonna do something more about that? Are you gonna relate to the male viewers? But they didn't do anything. They kind of stay on the surface. Cause like right now, the Barbie movie, I would say might get hate from some male viewers. Because right now, it sometimes do feel like a service level propaganda. I wouldn't lie. Um, so Oppenheimer is about Oppenheimer. So I feel like what you need to kind of know about before going to the movie is like first of all the a general idea of what's the position that us took during the world war ii and second i would say 
know a bit about the Oppenheimer security hearing because I didn't. I definitely do not know about it before going to it. And I was like, oh my god, what? I'm like doing a freaking reading when I was watching it. Um, so it was kind of stressful because of that. But if you know a bit about it, I feel like it's definitely gonna be a smoother watch, especially for a second second language speaker. Um, but other than that, I feel like after exposition, like knowing all the characters, knowing what Nolan wants you to know about, the third act was very well done. My favorite topic that this movie talked about is about you know, the ethics about atomic bomb, which is very much expected, but still they presented in a very thought provoking way. It's like Oppenheimer, he chose to be in this position as the director of this project, but I feel like he just didn't think through on the traumatic aftermath and the consequence that he would take for himself so like after the bomb was actually dropped to Japan and hundreds of thousands of people were dead because of it, he, um, the reality actually hit him. So he is in this very conflicted position. When he met President Truman, he's just not supporting nuclear weapons, even though he invented that for US. So people are definitely criticizing him for being a hypocrite. I really think the ending was very well chosen. Um, he was having a conversation with Albert Einstein and they were questioning whether they did a right decision on inventing the nuclear bomb. And I think it's very smart for Nolan to choose to end on this topic, this topic that I think is the most relatable to the audience so it will be the most thought-provoking to the audience if it wasn't for the ending i'll give you like a i don't know like an eight but because of the ending i'll add a one on top of that it's like a nine out of ten dude so like in conclusion i would definitely recommend both movies but maybe for like different audience and barbie is like if you're looking for like a pixar movie but with real people acting it definitely go watch it. If you're like a Barbie fan, definitely recommend it. They pay a lot of like homage to Barbie dolls, old Barbie dolls. Um, if you're like a history fan, like a quantum physics fan, Nolan fan, or like a Celia Murphy fan, which I am, uh, you can go watch Oppenheimer.